Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Touch pass on the jet sweep. The Buckeyes may be leaders in the modern game, but this has an old-school, vintage Buckeye feel to it when they move the ball on the ground. And Ohio State's done it year after year, and it's player after player, but this university recruits at such an elite level. They find dudes, and it's easy to run the football when you've got some dudes. Short gain on the play before he slides. Welcome to the frustrating reality of college football. Like, the guy at the quarterback spot, he can just do that. Pull it down, get positive yards, makes the defense have to account for him every single play. And now on second down for this offense. Quarterback checking the play. Off play action. Coming after it. And he got smacked just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. On the run, it's Howard. Looking left. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. Well, they try to throw for it there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense. And, guys, let's also trust this home field advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent. On fourth down, they'll pass for it. And they gambled in their own end, turn it over on downs, and now the other offense is set up. It's really early in the game right now, and if it's fourth and short, fourth and medium, maybe I see going for it, certainly. But fourth and long, that's a situation I think you got to punt and just let the game play out. Trust your defense a little bit more. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. It's amazing how a play by a defensive end in the backfield can really swing the momentum not only of a series, but of a game sometimes. All you're trying to do is create negative plays, to get them behind the sticks a little bit, to get those sacks, to get those tackles for the losses. You see so much stunting in college football up front with the defensive line because you know once you get one of those plays, you've got the offense right where you are. And he will wisely scamper out of bounds. No need to take unnecessary hits. Well, great job there by the defense because they weren't able to get him sacked right away, but you saw the coverage in the back end. Nor for the quarterback to throw the football. Didn't get the sack, obviously. You don't get the negative play, but you also don't give up a big one. You're feeling pretty good about where you are right now in this drive. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. Oh, he's going backwards in trouble, and down he goes. A tremendous loss. On fourth down, going to the air. Trying to burn this defensive. And that ball is picked off. Got some room to run. And a big return after the INT sets up the offense for this possession. Not the start this kid was looking for. Very first pass of the day gets picked off. This is a defense that's got a lot of ball hawks on the back end. And he's got to be real careful with his eyes. Not telegraph throws like he did right there. He's going to have to settle in. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. Couldn't find a lane, a pickup of one to the 31. You know, runs like this oftentimes are like a boxer in a boxing match. Obviously, it's not a knockout punch, but these are body blows. As the game goes on, these small gains are going to turn into longer runs. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. Got it in the middle with Scott. Put it right on him. Sweet play. Good pick up, and they'll move the chains with the first down. A new set of downs after the completion. The Buckeye aerial attack continues to be prolific. You feel as if they're on the verge of scoring on any snap. And it's such a good blend between such great offensive talent year after year after year that you see go to the draft, but also great play calling, great play design. They, they've always got it working, and you know this offense is always capable of hanging 40 points and making it look easy. That's the end of the first quarter. And after one, we're tied 0-0. Zero, zero. Ready, 
Back at it to open the quarter with this first down play. Fast motion from the offense. They'll try the jet sweep here. Pass the first down marker and still running. And they'll finally shove him out of bounds after a strong run. Defenses have got to play with great eye discipline, especially when you're facing teams that will run the jet sweep. You've got to be able to locate the football extremely quickly, and defense did not do a good job of it that time. Looking to throw a tower. Unloads to the wideout. Freshman trying to take a shot, but put just a little too much on it. Well, the good news is he did a nice job reading the coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football that time. Just a little bit too much on that pass. You wonder if that's just nerves. He's got to settle himself down a little bit. After the incompletion, back to the passing game. Fires to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. I'll say this, man. In college football, you see a lot of bad tackling. You didn't see it right there. That was an awesome job. First off, being there at the point of attack, once the tight end made the catch, there was no doubt he was going down. Great job form tackling. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Fires to the middle. Wide open downfield. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. And the Buckeyes will have it first and ten. Get set, get set. They'll try the run. He's there to make the stop. Linebackers in today's football, obviously, guys have gotten smaller. they got to play in space more, you know, cover fast guys out on the perimeter. But how about this linebacker coming downhill and making a physical tackle in the hole? They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. The offense will quickly use the timeout. Timeout is Ohio State. Here comes the offense on second down. Looking downfield, it's Howard. Getting some heat. Quarterback feeling the pressure, and down he goes at the 22. And that is a great job by the defense, containing and constricting the pocket. There was nowhere for the QB to go, and he did not have a lot of time. He went down quick. Already well within field goal range. Wonder how aggressive they'll be on third and long from the 22. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. He got him. He's run out of bounds after the big game, and they are in business first and goal. Really nice job there at the quarterback. Reading coverage, he knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. Wide receiver now comes in motion. They'll try to race to the edge on first and goal with the wide receiver. And he got nothing, and the line of scrimmage is still the five-yard line. And that's just a great job by the defense shutting down that jet sweep. You see the team speed they have on defense. They are willing and ready and able to go sideline to sideline with anybody in the country. Can the D deny them on second and goal? 29 Philly. They'll keep it on the ground right up the gut, looking for six. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. It's looking like they're going to have to try to throw this one into the end zone here on third down, David. Quarterback's got to be careful. Can't get greedy because you know these windows, they close fast. Extremely tight windows. Find your big body guys that you know can win in contested situations here on third down. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. And it's no good. He missed it. And guys, after the miss, no change in the score. 
Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Trying to find his man on first down. Keeps the play going. Steps away to find some room. On the move at the 30. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. They'll have just enough time to get one more snap before the half. Dropping back, it's Salter. Pocket starts to collapse. Pass is incomplete, and half comes to a close on that play. <laughs> the Buckeyes will kick it away first, and we'll start the second half. Fielded in the end zone, it's Lee. And he loses the ball deep in his own end. They recover their own fumble. How in the world did the offense avoid that disaster? Wow, they narrowly avoid disaster there. They fumble the kick return, and if that goes to the other team, all the momentum is no longer with them. So a nice job being able to bounce back on that. The head coach breathing a huge sigh of relief. Now just enough running room. He picks up four to the 15. And the Flames want to crank the tempo. They'll go right back to it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. On third and long, try to convert through the air. Got his man on the outside. Makes one man miss. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. They'd hope to be able to pick up enough after the catch, but a good stop leaves them with a fourth and short. Really good job by the defense being physical, understanding the situation in the game. The ball's going to come out quick. You know that. Go make the tackle. Force the fourth down. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Now he'll let one fly down the left side. And he makes the grab and gets the foot down. What a job for a huge game there. You talk about taking the wind out of a crowd. A fourth down conversion will do that. Yeah, they were jacked up in here. Excited. The fans get loud, rush the passer. And how about the conversion? The big fourth down conversion here in the third quarter to give yourself some life in a tight ball game. So no room to run there, and you wonder after that loss on first down where they turn now. Yeah, and that's why it's so important for the defense to win these first downs, right? You want to create negative plays to make this offense so much more predictable. To the air, it's Salter. Keeps it going. The freshman able to get home with the sack. That type of pressure on the quarterback, that's vintage Ohio State, right in keeping with the legacy that's been established by the Buckeye team. Yeah, and you take pride in that. You own that legacy with all those guys you see performing at a high level in the NFL. Man, you see that, you want to go get it. And the pressure is coming in, and they get him again. Well, the upside is you could get a first down. The downside is you could blow the game going for it inside your own 30. He lets it fly. Oh, picked off. Didn't get a ton on the return, but the most important thing, he got the ball, and they've got it at the 48. Not all guys have the ability to, to break on the football, go make a play, and catch it. You know, you play defense for a reason. A lot of the wide receivers are the ones that do most of the catching. Great job by the defense securing the INT. Looking for a crease. It's Judkins. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one. Somehow, it's second and seven. Small game, I know. But again, the defense knows he's going to run the football. He's willing to run the football, not just drop back and pass. Make him on in the run game. you got to do a lot of this. On the 
After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. Quarterback will audible. Trying play action. Grabbed over the middle. It's Abuka. Finding open areas. Touchdown, Ohio State! And that one will give him the lead. 